Hello and welcome. In this free code camp video, I'll be taking you step by step how I solved their spinal tap case challenge. I solved this challenge in two easy to follow steps, but before I get to that, let me explain it a little bit. You will receive a string and your task is to convert that string so that every word is lowercase and it's joined by dashes, also known as spinal case. The steps I took are as follows. First, I wanted to do the easy part, so I changed the string when it's joined by underscores or any white space character. And I also changed the string to lowercase because that's how we're supposed to return it. Then I wanted to take care of the strings that are camel case, so without any devices. I did this the same way by using a regex with the replace method, but I had to use something that's called a capturing group in regex. So now that you know the steps you need to take to solve this one yourself, go ahead and give it a try as that's the truly best way to get better and I'll just get down to coding now. As I said before, first I want to just replace the spaces and underscores. So I'll run the replace method. Oh. And here I want it to match any white space character, which is going to be backslash s and an underscore. And I need to create a list of characters from it. Otherwise, it's going to look for literally that a white space character with an underscore next to it. And it's not going to find anything like that. So I want to look for it globally, of course, and I want to replace it with a dash. It's as simple as that. And after it, I'm going to uh, turn it to lowercase. Um, yeah, so that's it. Let's see if it works. And it does. So now I have only two uh, test cases left. And as you can see, it's all about the camel case here. So I'm going to start another replace function. I'm going to put it right in the middle here. Now, what I want this regex to do is to find where one word ends and the other begins, and then put a dash in between them. I'll use what is called a capture group, so I'll go briefly to regex 101 site, and I have an example prepared here. Uh, as the practice string, I just entered a random number, and now I want to match it exactly how it is, and that's what I did here. As you can see, it's three digits for, uh, joined by a dash, then two digits joined by a dash to uh, the last three digits. And I put them all in brackets, and those brackets me uh, create groups. As you can see on the right-hand side here, every group is... It shows you what's in every group. And if I wanted to manipulate the string, I, I'll go to the console. And I have my rejects and I have my string as well. So if I want to manipulate it, let's say I want to change the order of the numbers. Um, let's say I want to do it backwards. So I'll, I want the third one to be first. Then I want it to jo be joined with a dash to the second one. And then the last one I want to be, I want it to be separated with a space from the rest of them. And I'll just do it like this. And if I return it, you can see that's exactly what happened. And that's how the capturing groups basically work. They're like variables within the rejects. And because and they hold a value depending on what they matched. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with this challenge. I'm going to write a regex where I'm going to have two capturing groups. And the first one, I want to, if you, if you look at the camel case, the, when the word ends, a lowercase letter is next to an uppercase letter. And that's exactly what I want to find. So first I want to match uh, any lowercase letter, and then I want to match any uppercase letter. And I want to do it globally. And I want to return the same capturing groups, but joined with a dash. Instead, nothing at all. And... If I return it, it should work, and it does. So let me know if this helps, uh, or if you had any problems, or if you did it differently. I'm always interested, and I will see you in the next video.